Hi you guys, this is Elliot from Little Punk People, and we're interviewing Babes in Toyland. Chilling, oh, we're chilling at NYC. NYC. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's it like playing music with your friend, close friends? Oh, that's the best question you ask. <laughs> it's the only thing you can do, and it's the best thing. I wouldn't have it any other way. I've gotten to know Kat over the last few weeks a lot better, and I've known Lori for a while, and I it, I think they're just the best people in the world. <laughs> it's been really fun. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Living the dream, baby. How does it feel knowing that your music has touched so many people? Um, look at my eyes are already welling up because you're so sweet. And it makes me so excited. Look at my eyes are welling up. That's how, how you touch people is be, be you know, have passion and you're genuine and you uh, really love what you're doing. I mean, you have to, you have to love what you're doing because if you don't, then you might as well just take a hike and don't ever try and do it again. And so, um, it's pretty great. It's really nice. We have the nicest people that come to our shows every single night. I, I know every single night my eyes well up. I know Kat probably does too, and probably Claire too. I mean, it's pretty overwhelming. It's re we have the greatest people that, that we've known for a long time, and we meet new people every day. That changes our lives. But that's what life is all about, right? I concur. <laughs> well, name one band that you love that no one would ever guess that you loved. Skrillex. Come back to me in a second. Okay. Oh, and Rush. Rush. Electric Light Orchestra. Oh, yes! <laughs> Yellow. I love, love them. <laughs> still thinking. I don't know. I don't even like believe in guilty pleasures. I love like, Aww. I don't know. I used to like hate top 40 blah blah blah, but more and more it's just like a good song is a good song no matter who wrote it. What is your favorite song to play live right now? Well, I always like to play Oh Yeah and Ripe, the ones that <laughs> are the hardest to drum. <laughs> oh Yeah and Ripe. Oh yeah, is one of my favorites too. It has a really fun bass line to play, and every time I play it, I just can't stop smiling. Um, I like playing spun because I, I think that it's really fun. I do it, I do a drum roll, and then I hit the cymbal, and I just get to. It's really good. That's my. I really like playing that, and I really still like playing um, Handsome and Gretel. Oh, spun but, uh, has all spun has all those dynamics. That's that's good. I love when you start Bruce Violet and you just see every person just be like, <gasps> and they freak out, and that feels really fun. <laughs> yeah. It sounds cool. Where is the mo most peaceful place you've ever been to? I think my most peaceful place, this is going to sound ironic, but is um, <laughs> on stage when I really get into it because it feels like everything just goes away, like <sighs> all the crap in your head and stuff, even though it's quite loud. Mine's kind of literal, but there's like a little pond in Minneapolis that feeds into a big lake. We have a lot of lakes there. And there's a little bridge, and you can walk right down under the bridge, and that's my kind of happy place to go. Oh. The most peaceful place I've ever been to is sitting on my couch. Oh, <laughs> you're lucky. Nice. Yep. Do any of your songs' ideas come from dreams? Yes. Um, I would say about half. For me, anyway, personally, lyrics. That's crazy. What kind of movie would you love to do a soundtrack for? Horror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about yesterday how she wants to wants to make. Uh, we want to do voices for films and do like Halloween spooky music soundtracks. Yeah. <laughs> it would be really fun. Do you have any ideas on what your next record would sound like? No, but I am pretty excited to record. I have been thinking about it a lot lately on the bus. Um, yeah, 
only because this one, you know, it kind of like you get doing reunion tours, all old music, but I, I want to, I think we're going to be better with this one here. No. It'll make us more creative and it's fresh energy, you know what I mean? Brings something else to the band instead of the old, same old thing. So it's going to be good and it'll make us more fresh and, you know, new dynamic. So I don't know what it's going to sound like, but... I think it'll be kick ass. I think it's gonna be heavier. I heavier. feel I feel like a little heavier and maybe uh some is gonna be a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. Like heavier and slower. I mean some will be fast, but I can see us like just a little bit heavier and slower with still our really quirky changes. I think you're correct on that one. I think you're correct. I'm just excited to to see what they come up with. I'm every we they're come genius. Up with. We. 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 <laughs> we. If you could fly, where is the first place you would go? Hmm. Costa Rica. <laughs> I, every time, every time I see a magazine, um, like Condé Nast or Budget Travel or whatever, there's always this place, and I always go, I want to go there. And ninety-eight percent of the time, it's coast, a photo of Costa Rica. Really? Uh huh. I don't know where I'd want to go. Maybe into jail. <laughs> to, to visit someone. <laughs> Not to jail. <laughs> to visit someone. Well, you can fly out of there. If you yeah, I'll get them. Um, a jail bird. I just want to. I just want to people watch somewhere. I can watch some people from up above. It'd be kind of fun. What's your favorite thing to do before a show and after a show? Um, before a show, probably make sure that I get a little food in my body, because <laughs> if I start playing and I'm like, oh, I'm so hungry, you need that energy to drum and stuff, and then just kind of say hi, touch base with a few people, you want to make sure that they're, you know, we're coming to your show and say hi, and, because, and, uh, uh, I don't know, usually just hang out with a bunch of people afterwards and have fun and meet new people, and, and make new friends and swap phone numbers and emails and hug. Yeah, me, t me too. <laughs> um, I still get pretty nervous before we play. I always have a lot of anxiety. So I can't usually eat before we play. So afterwards, if there's not a super great band to see, I like to eat a big meal and like just get back into myself. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I agree. That's me too. I get too nervous to eat. Afterwards, I just love to chow down. Yep. Just relax and I like to watch the opening band though, Fea. Who that's a lot of times I don't watch, but they're so good. They get me all hyped up. <laughs> UFOs, Bigfoot, or the Loch Ness monster? Oh. Uh, UFOs. Uh, yeah, yeah, all of them. All of them. <laughs> I think all, all of them. Not pizza for me. Tacos. Yeah, tacos. pizza or tacos. I really love tacos, but I like a good pizza again too. I mean, but. I have tacos over pizza. I love Mexican food. Pizza. We ate a lot of pizza touring around the United States. They used to just throw pizzas in the dressing room. I think that put me off pizza for a while. But there is good pizza, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go with like tacos. Yeah. Um, I'm like yeah, a, a kid that likes tacos over pizza. That well, is, Elliot, that's, that's cool. yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> that's that's a first. That's yeah. why he wants to go. <laughs> Punk rock or puppies? Oh. Are they mutually exclusive? Like not ball together. Yeah, that, I thought they'd go paw and paw. Yeah. Instead of hand, <laughs> instead of hand in hand, <laughs> hand and paw. Butterflies, bats, or unicorns? She's gonna say bats. bats. Bats, I love bats. I could, I, bats. I have bat, I actually have bat houses on the, um, on the one side of my garage. I hope it's still there. That's pretty cool. Uh, yep. I'm going to say bats, too. I love bats. And then butterflies second. You know, Carl, uh, uh. I'm going to go with bats as well. Yeah. Wow. Solid on the bats. Thrifle the bats. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything you'd like to add? I just want to say I think this is the best interview I've ever mm -hmm. been a part of, and I feel very lucky, and thank you for having such thoughtful questions. Well, thank, thank you. you. Are you seeing a lot of new, younger fans at your shows? 
Did you make all these questions? Did you do most of them? People. They're really, they're really great questions. Because people ask things that everyone, you can read in every interview, anytime. And so I really like this. Thank you. I really appreciate it. But we do have generations um, of, I've met uh, three generations a few times where it's a child, their, their parent, and then their parent. So it was probably like the original parent probably came to see us 30 years ago. And then, you know, 29 years ago, when they were older, and then they had a kid, and then their kid listened to us, now they have a kid, so it just trickles down, like, and so it's it's really great. And I love, I love that uh, kids know more about music now. It's unbelievable. I mean, I'm talking teenagers know everything about everything. You know about Queen? That's my favorite, Freddie Mercury.